Hi everyone. Uh, now we're going to take a look at the last chapter of financial markets and institutions, which is about financial crisis and regulation. Regulations. So let's first define what a financial crisis is. According to Michigan, a financial crisis occurs when an increase in asymmetric information from a disruption in the financial system prevents the financial system from channeling funds efficiently from savers to households and firms with productive investment opportunities. We can classify uh, financial crisis as money crisis, banking crisis, external debt crisis, or systematic financial crisis. A money or currency crisis uh, occurs when there is a speculative attack on the value of a currency and it leads to depreciation of foreign exchange reserves or significant rises in the interest rates. A banking crisis uh, happens when an actual or potential bank failure prevent banks from fulfilling their obligations. An external debt crisis uh, happens when an entity cannot pay the foreign uh, for foreign debt or government or private sectors. Systemic, uh, systemic financial crises uh, are financial distortions that have significant effects on the real economy. So uh, let's take a look at the most important global crisis, uh, starting from uh, the Great Depression. Um, in fact, there are some financial crises and panics, panics before the 1929 uh, Great Depression. But the most important, maybe the most important global crisis is the uh, Great Great Depression uh, at, uh, at the end of 20s and uh, which spans uh, at the beginning of uh, 1930s. And uh, the Great Depression uh, was very uh, devastating, uh, not only on, on the USA. Uh, U.S. economy, but, but also uh, on other uh, economies as it's spread out globally. There are also some uh, important crises after 1980. In fact, uh, those crises began with the 1980 global debt crisis. And we also observed uh, the global financial and economic crisis in the uh, 2008 and 2009. Uh, and the, the, the last... Uh, Crisis mentioned uh, after 1980 is the 2010 Europe, European sovereign debt crisis. So what are the main causes of financial crisis then? Um, the, uh, the main causes uh, include the mismanagement of financial uh, liber liberalization, especially after uh, 1980s. Uh, and also asset price bubbles or booms, uh, which are the market, uh, which arise as market prices of assets uh, rise above the economic values, above uh, real values. Uh, another important cause of uh, financial crisis is the high uncertainty following economic downturns or stock market cri uh, crashes. Also, the current account deficit, deficits of, comp uh, of uh, countries, as well as budget deficits, may lead to uh, financial crisis. Excessive borrowing of government or businesses uh, may also lead to financial crisis, uh, as well as the vulnerability or frig fragility of the banking industry. So what are the main effects of financial crisis then? What are, how do financial crises influence economies? Uh, the, the main uh, effect of uh, financial crisis is the economic downturn and uh, uh, deterioration, deterioration of cash flows of, uh, government, of the government and uh, businesses. Therefore, there could be declines uh, of lending, uh, the loan uh, volumes uh, of uh, the financial system uh, declines, falls down. There could be also some deterioration in the balance sheets of financial institutions and businesses, as well as ca deterioration of cash flows. Um, financial crisis may lead to cur currency crisis and rises in the debt burdens of uh, the, uh, the economic factor, uh, economic uh, actors in the uh, financial system. 
uh, banks and the b businesses may go bankrupt so we we can observe we can observe some uh, bank or co company failures and the um, financial crisis lead to increased volatility in the financial markets as well as rises in the inflation and interest rates and also unemployment how about the financial uh, crisis in turkey uh, that there, there, there was we we observed some crisis before 1990 but uh, the most important crisis uh, were observed after 1990 and the most important of them are 1994 and uh, 1994 uh, currency crisis as well as the 1997 and 1998 uh, crisis uh, especially uh, that spread from uh, Russia um and also, we we must mention the November two thousand two thousand crisis, in which the banks uh, attempts to close or uh, close their open positions caused borrowing rush. Uh, so as a result, the risk premium in ex external markets rose and made foreign borrowing even more difficult. February two thousand and one crisis is also important. Uh, it. Uh, the main cause was the political crisis between the president uh, of the time and the prime minister. And uh, one of the main causes, uh, fundamental causes of this crisis was the current account deficit of the country. Uh, and in fact, the pressure, uh, it uh, led to the pressure on the exchange rates uh, and uh, it even led to the central bank in intervention to prevent uh, the exchange rates to rise uh, to rise high. Another important topic uh, mentioned in this chapter is the uh, regulatory frameworks. Um, in fact, the regulation, uh, the main functions of uh, regulation is to uh, make uh, financial institutions more transparent. So there could be some disclosure requirements uh, regarding the financial statements and uh, disclosing the relevant information of the activities of financial uh, institutions. There are also some uh, important uh, requirements regarding the capital uh, of uh, uh, financial institutions because to, in order to uh, have a sound and a strong financial uh, system, uh, financial institutions should uh, maintain a certain level of capital and uh, regulatory frameworks also ensure uh, uh, eff effective supervision of financial institutions as well as assessment of risk management. Uh, regulatory frameworks may also put some restrictions on, uh, uh, on the competition in the financial system. So uh, the, the main objectives, the main objectives uh, of regulations include sus sustaining a sustaining sy systemic stabilities and as well as maintain the safety and soundness of financial institutions, which is uh, crucial for the effective functioning of the financial system. Uh, the main objectives of regulations also include protecting the consumers, uh, financial consumers, uh, from various uh, threats. An important uh, regula uh, regulatory in this regard is the Basel Committee uh, on Banking Supervision. It's a very important uh, benchmark. In fact, the Basel Committee on Banking Supervision is the primary global standard setter for the prudential regulation of banks. And the main functions of the Basel Committee is to enhance financial stability and also improve the quality of banking supervision. Uh, if, uh, they made some, they created, they generated some capital accords uh, and they are called Basel I, Basel II and Basel III. And those accords um, were made in order to sustain, uh, in order to uh, set uh, some requirements, cap capital requirements of, of uh, the banking system. So these uh, accords uh, 
include some minimum regulatory capital requirements and some guidelines uh, about the supervisory review process uh, of, uh, of banks. And also uh, it includes, they include uh, some disclosure standards in order to maintain market discipline. And also to handle systemic risk, uh, there some microprudential norms uh, were put forward through these capital accords. Uh, so that was a quick summary of uh, the main concepts covered in the uh, last chapter of uh, financial markets and institutions. You may find the details of financial crisis and regulations in the book. So thank you for attending those summary sessions.